All right, this is going to be a tutorial. Let me turn on the music, sorry. It's gonna be a tutorial for uh, installing BizHawk. This is a new way to create a task and optimize patterns within Pac-Man. So what you wanna do, I will be putting all of these links in the description. You're gonna to go to this website. You're gonna go here, you're gonna download the zip. You're gonna extract it. Now I already have it installed. So we're gonna to go to it and it will unzip with this. What you will want to do is you want to create a folder for your ROMs and place your unzipped, this is important, your unzipped ROMs in here. Then what you will do, open up EmuHawk. So what this does is it loads up this window. So what you want to do is you want to do open a ROM, go to your ROMs, open a ROM. Super easy, right? So now you're able to play your game just as you would. What you're going to do to create a task though, however, is open up this tool under tools. You go to task studio. So once you have task studio open, it resets it to the start. And what you can do is you can manually go frame by frame. So if like I hold it down, it manually goes through. So like, let's say, so I'll just, I'll speed through this. Let's get to the start. Okay. So this is just like a super simple tutorial on how to do it. If we want, so I'm going to remove all these inputs that we don't need. Um, so there we go. We have all that. So, so if I wanted to now, for example, put in a coin input, I put the coin input, you know, just like that. Now, when we go through, it adds a credit. So now I want to, you know, hit start. So I add, you know, just there you go. And it starts. So now what you can do is you can manually input. Do you want to go left? Do you want to go right? Whatever it is. However, if you don't want to do this, there's also a way to record your inputs. What you want to do is you want to hit recording mode on. And what this does is once you've configured your controllers in inside uh, settings and configures for controllers, if you hold down the um, increase key, I believe, let's see, it's uh, configure hotkeys, frame advances F for me. So when I hold down F, it plays the game. So now I can see how it's reading all of my inputs as I type them on my keyboard. Granted, this is not, but it allows you to record it. And then if you want to go frame by frame, you can do that by holding down another key where you just you tap it and you can go one by frame by frame, putting in exactly as you want. So that's, that's a quick tutorial, but it allows for you to do things like this. For example, I made a perfect task of the game and it's super easy, super, you know, super simple. What you want to do is you just want to, so we'll go to the start. We'll go to the start. Uh, let's, let's actually choose somewhere in the middle. So let's say we want to, we'll just start at the eighth key. So this, these are save states I've made so we can go from here. But what we can do is you can play it and you can increase the speed. So you can just zoom through all these, right? So these are all the inputs I've designed to work perfectly. And the nice thing is because Pac-Man repeats for so often, you can create segments, you can copy and paste. So what I did is I created a copyable of the unpattern. I ran through the unpattern, did it frame by frame, and I copied it until the very end of the game. However, to compile it, um, I'm still working on that. The easiest method I found is just to let it run and screen record it. But it is something super simple. Um, it's a fantastic tool. You can rewind. You can rewind. It's super cool. So if you if you don't like the pattern you ran, you can just go back. Then you can play it again and keep going. So it's fantastic. It's absolutely amazing for designing and creating new patterns. So I just thought I'd share this. Um, and I look forward to seeing everything you guys create. So yeah.